Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> Please, you're cracking me up. Amanda, stop it. Good, but that's a fact. <laughs> Hi, Chinedu. How are you? I'm good. Where are you headed? I want to go and get something. Without your bracelet. Oh. Oh. I forgot. You forgot. It's a mistake. Mistake. You call that mistake? Yeah, sorry. Really? Uh, we'll see where those bracelets all the time. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad that I have a sister like you. So because you have a sister like me, you now have to always forget your bracelet? Because I know you will always remind me Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Isn't bracelet supposed to be ladies' thing? Ladies' thing? <laughs> Why did you say so? Yeah, because your brother is very particular about those bracelets. In fact, today is the first day I see him not wearing them. Well, if you must know, that is an ancient gift from my grandfather to him. It is more than just a bracelet. Are you serious? Yes. That bracelet is indispensable. He doesn't joke with it. You know, this is one scary thing about all these ancient gifts. You practically sound like his life depends on it. Well, that tiny thing you see him wear all the time possesses a mystic power. My brother can see your future through your eyes. Really? I, are you serious? Are you didn't bother to tell me all this while? <laughs> Girlfriend, I need someone to see my future. Honestly, I need help. Oh, Please. really? <laughs> then today is a lucky day. Just go meet him when he's back. I believe he's going to tell you everything you need to know about your future. But don't tell him that I told you about it. Why? You know, my brother has become a powerful seer for a very long time now. But we don't want it to be public. So please, do not tell him I told you about it. You have to keep it discreet. Oh, okay. No problem. My lips are sealed already. In fact, forever. I am waiting for him to come back. <laughs> <sighs>
Hello, Pipitua. Hey, Amanda the Amanda. <laughs> How are you? Uh, yeah, I am fine. I hope you're good too. Okay, but I just sent you something on WhatsApp. Hmm? WhatsApp? Yeah. I needed to check it immediately. Oh, okay, I will do that later. I'm driving right now. Okay, all right. Bye. Well, well, I like to think so because I know that this is the beginning of my financial freedom. Well, of course. <laughs> you see, as you have willingly and in faith given the man of God what he wants, okay, so would your own faith be big enough to get whatever you want? Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, I like to ask. Yes. Who owns the bracelets in your drawer? I thought I specifically, specifically gave you instructions not to touch any of my things. Yeah, I, I, I didn't touch it. No, no, I, I didn't. I, I only opened the drawer and I saw it there. I, I didn't touch it. You didn't touch it? Yes. Does the bracelet remind you of anything? No, not at all. I. I only ask out of curiosity. That's all. I'm sorry. You only know me as a man of God. Yeah. And as a pastor. But you don't know what I'm capable of doing. Mm. I know a liar when I see one physically and spiritually. So right now I'm going to ask you again in truth and in faith in front of me looking at me. You will tell me what you know. What? Do those bracelets remind you of? Uh, um, so sorry. I, I used to know of one Chinedu who was murdered in this town. He, he, he used to wear bracelets that look like the ones in your drawer. It was believed his mother has murdered him because of the bracelets. They, they had to cut off his arm to get it. Sorry. They cut off his arm? Yes. And why would anybody want to cut off his arm? Uh, because it, it, it was a gift from his grandfather. The sister told me he had become a, a great seer through the bracelets. I've seen him wear it several times and it looks exactly like the ones in your drawer. I, I'm sorry, it, honestly, it's nothing. It, it's nothing. It's nothing? Yes. You see, you, you, you got me startled, okay? I mean, you got me uneasy. And I thought you had a problem, you know, so I needed to ask questions. <laughs> I know, I, I know you're angry with me right now. Honestly, I am sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, no. honestly. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm not angry. No, 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 no. You're not. Over that. The only thing is, I, I, I just don't like being, you know, in a position where I'm floating, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> so, come here, my dear. <clears throat> you know you're my baby, right? Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, yes. And, of course, I'll take care of you. Now, last night, you were so exceptionally sweet. And this morning, this man of God wants to get greedy mm -hmm. by letting that process happen again. Oh, before cutting you your big check. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Yes. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. Yes. So speaking of sweetness, you come here. Come here, my baby. Mm. Oh, no. John no. 7 4. For no man will do anything in secret. And he himself. <laughs> will want to be known, for no man will do anything in secret that he himself will want to be known. J 
John. Seven. Four. How is this possible? How can this bracelet be with a pastor? Amanda, where are you? Answer your call. Amanda, is she, is, she, is she around? Mm, no, she's not around. She's not around. Um, I guess you have to call her. I've been trying to call her. She just called me a few minutes ago and I've been calling. She's not, she's not taking her call. She's not answering. I don't know. That's all I know you can do. Please, when was the last time you saw her? Oh, it's been two days now. You, you mean she hasn't been home? No, I've not seen her. And please, you have to stop disturbing the neighborhood with your knocking. Okay? Thank you. Bye. Look, um, yeah, like I said, I cannot make it to you anymore. Um, something came up. Exactly. Something came up and um, you, no, nothing I can't handle. But, but please, if you have any problems whatsoever, just let me know. I'm a phone call away, okay? All right. I'm a phone call away, like I said. All right, darling. God bless you. sounded like someone who is under pressure. She called and suddenly dropped the call. And now she's not taking her calls. I hope she's fine. I hope she's okay. sense if I report to the police.
But it's now up to 24 hours. Oh no. Where could she be? Where could she be? Yes, um, let's the next person in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Honorable. Honorable, please sit down, sit down. Sit Thank down. you, yes, Pastor yes, Dan. Yes, yes, you're welcome. How is your wife? She's fine. I saw her in church. It's been some time, I think about three Sundays ago. Yeah. Yes, yes, I hope she's okay. She's Everything is fine. Yes, and your, your son should be a graduate by now. Yeah. Oh, good. good. The Hallelujah. good works of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, so, so tell me, because I understand this is your busy time as politicians. So, what would the ever busy Honorable uh, supporting our definitely uh, you know, next coming governor? What would they be doing here at this point in time in my, in my church and office? Yes. I'm overwhelmed with joy. Hallelujah. You know? Everything happened exactly the way you told me they would. Mm, mm. Yes, yes. You see, it would be dangerous for you to disobey the man of God. For you to disobey a man with the anointing of God. Indeed. Isaiah 119 says, if you're willing and obedient, you will eat of the good of the Lord. Yes. It is there in the Bible. It cannot be disputed. And in particular. And there. Um, you see, I bless God for blessing us with a prophet like you. Hallelujah. Uh, so that is, um, um, Pastor Dan, mm -hmm. take this. This is just a little token to show my appreciation and gratitude for the works of the Lord in my life and family. Uh, yeah? This good work must continue. Ten million naira. Just the beginning. Ten million after everything you have done. I mean, you helped us complete the Sunday school. You helped us complete the orphanage, the church of and, and ten million. Oh my God, Pastor Dam, this is just the beginning. Oh, and I say to you, for you have given unto God, God will give you bountifully. Amen. The manna of heaven will never ever escape you. Amen. As a servant of the Most High God, I speak this into your life. It is well, it is done. Amen. Keep on doing the good work of God. Amen. 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 Uh, Pastor Dan, I have to take my leave. You um, 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 please, 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 please. Please. Hold my hand. Hear me, O Israel, our Lord is God, our Lord is one. Blessed is this man, blessed is this man. Honorable, Tony, Tony, Tony Udenze is, 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 is the boy you're sponsoring. Yes. For local government channel. Yes. Ah. He will win. Ah, hallelujah. But he will betray you in two years. Honorable. Pastor. Yes. The governor will win again. And you, you will go back to the house. Yes. But you 
shall jump the House of Representatives. From the House of Assembly, I see you sit. I see you as the future Senate President. Hallelujah. Ah! I see you as the future Senate President. Hallelujah! The future Senate President. Hallelujah! I see you representing your good people in the Senate. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. Amen. It is well. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Pastor Dan. Congratulations. Pastor Dan, congratulations. You see, if these things happen the way you just told me, I will not tell you what it I will do. It is done. I have spoken prophetically. Amen. It I'm is not done. Telling what I will do. But please, Tony Udeze, we have to pray. Yes. We have to pray. Yes. I will not tell you what I will Go do. Go into your vision. Thank you very much, Pastor Dan. Hey, Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. Ah. All, All the, the time. Lord. All the time. Lord. Our Lord is good. All the time. All the time. Thank you. Thank you for never failing me. In you I trust. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <clears throat> yes, Rosalind, next person. Yeah, this is your smoke every time. Easy. <laughs> that are sweet, Abby. Let me smoke. The joy. Abby, the joy. Allow the thing to go down. The joy of the go. The crazy. <laughs> are you like? I'm trying to digest what you just said earlier mm -hmm. about Amanda. Yes. You mean that since she left that evening, or two days now? It's two. Not two days now. Yes. Uh -huh. The matter tire me, you even get time to be talking. You tire me. Because I don't even knock for that door. I don't knock tire. No. If you, I, I even apart see, from knocking, did you check the window? The I window. go that window. I go that window. Go look. Nobody there inside that room. See, the point, the problem now, you see, I don't even try and run by now. I run by now they go. I run by now they go. No know. way to contact her. No way. No communication. You know, get. You see them now? I don't know whether this girl, if people say, if people say this girl don't go die. No, they go that side. I know they're this level. She's, She's not too young for that guy now. Mm -hmm. Never, 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 never. Huh? You think it has to be you? My brother, this point, this story now, this point is not a good one. In my own suggestion, like I'm trying to suggest, I'm not telling you as the landlord, yes. but as a good neighbor. Yes. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know better, we just go to police station and report. Ah! Mm. Hey. Police! No go there. What did they talk now? Police. Mm. You know that's the amount they be. If you go there now, they go turn off our head. No. no. They go put off our head. My guy, my guy, wait. Do you know the big capital? Huh. This as bold capital letter question will be. Did you report? I know. Did you report? I'm just telling you this. This is our neighbor. See my door. Our door. Mm -hmm. Her door. Mm -hmm. And she's missing two days. Number is not going. And her friend, you remember, you told me that her yes, friend yes, came yes, here yes, I, yes, I, a few I, minutes ago. I told you that. Yes. Then what are you now talking? I don't always think this the way you talk. You know, say this is your way, they give inspiration where we. <laughs> my guy! <laughs> my guy! <laughs> where we? <laughs> More reason the police demand that. Only More they say Only good talk where not More they say I swear that. What other confirmation do you possibly need? I mean, you and I know that the bracelet on that picture is for your late brother. All my efforts to reach her has been futile. Even the number which she used in reaching me is currently switched off. I've been to her house more than three times now and she's not there. Are you serious? This doesn't sound good at all. I even met with her neighbors, and, and they said they haven't seen her for the past two days. 
Inspector Madi. Sir. The case we have at hand now is a serious issue. We have an opportunity to resolve an unresolved murder case. So, who do you think is suitable to handle the investigation? Sir, based on the personnel we have here, I suggest that Inspector Jen will handle the operation. Inspector Jen? Yeah. Why Inspector Jen? Don't you remember she was the one that handled the murder case of a young man killed by assailants whose wrist was cut off? So she didn't make any hair where then? Yes, sir. I know. But the new information we have here is connected to the old one. This is an opportunity for Inspector Jen to resolve the unresolved murder case. That's why I'm suggesting that we give her the opportunity to go ahead. I was thinking you would want to handle this case. Why? 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 Why, Jen? She didn't make any headway then. So you are the one to handle this case now, sir. I will do as you said. I will support Inspector Jen and her team from the background. But please, let Jen lead the operation, please. Officer, it's on record that you were the one that investigated my brother's murder case. How am I sure that you're going to do better on this case? I am more interested in what's transpired between you and your friend. I mean the phone call. Amanda called me and said I should check my WhatsApp message, which I did. And then I saw the picture. I believe that the people who killed my brother only wanted the bracelet. And that is the same bracelet Amanda found. And now Amanda is nowhere to be found. She's nowhere to be found. I am still very angry with myself for not being able to resolve your brother's mother. And bring those criminals to justice. Are you confirming to me that this is the same bracelet that was taken from your brother? Yes. I am very sure of that. That's the bracelet. Officer. We feel there's a way you can find out where she was when she made that call. I mean, we might not be able to trace the WhatsApp, but she called Perpetua here and asked her to check her phone. That call can be traced. And we also need to know why her number is not reachable again. Tell me, at what point did her phone stop ringing? When I checked the picture she sent me on WhatsApp, you know, after that, I started calling. I called and called and called, but she didn't pick. And up to date, her number has been off. Oh. Um, aside from her neighbors, have you guys tried reaching out to any of our family members or our other friends? Like we earlier said, Amanda doesn't keep much friends. Yes. Because of the kind of lifestyle that she's living. But yes, I, I tried reaching out. I called one of her family members that I'm close to and she confirmed that she hasn't heard or seen Amanda. From what I feel, it's a serious case. I mean, why would they allow a woman head investigation? I don't get your argument. Are you already undermining her ability simply because she's a woman? That is not what I'm saying. But this is the exact woman who investigated the death case of my brother. How did it go? We both know how it went. So how am I sure that this case won't just die off like that? See, let's give her the chance to do her work. These are two different scenarios. 
She didn't do well the last time. Doesn't mean she won't do well this time around. Let's just allow her to do her work, please. I'm tired. Oh, she does a good job. She will. Yes, sir. Andrew, how are you today? Fine, sir. A police detective by the name Jane is presently handling a case, and she has solicited for our help. We have always assisted the police in a lot of their investigations, which you know is part of our civic responsibilities. What kind of help are they demanding this time? On the 11th of March, precisely by 9 a.m., this very number received a call from this. And the police wants to know exactly where that call was made. How soon do they want this information? Oh, faster than immediately. You see, as a matter of fact, the person that made that call has been confirmed missing, and the police believes she might be in danger. Say she. All right, so as you can see, it demands an urgent attention. I'm on it, sir. All right, Andrew. Thank you. My brother, when I was a baby in the Lord. Just like you, when I started being in the vineyard of the Lord, I was confused. I was struggling. I was floating. I was silly. And you know why I said I was silly? questions and I was angry and silly <laughs> angry and silly I was angry at God I would ask God is this your plan for me did you call me into this ministry to suffer did you call me into this ministry for this not to enjoy the goodness of earth from heaven. I was angry at God. Sometimes I would go nude in the middle of the night. I will put a seat and I will say, God, leave whatever you are doing and come and attend to me. But today, all oh, that is history. Because our God has shown his face. He has shown himself. He has shown his grace in my life. Hallelujah. Pastor Dan, you don't need to tell me. Hallelujah. I am not blind. I can see. And that is why I am here. Your testimony is amazing. From a pastor Dan who was struggling to pay his rent in one room apartment mm. to a pastor Dan who now has a church facility that sits on hectares of land. Come on, pastor. I am happy for you. Glory, glory, glory to our Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our God is good. All the time. My brother, our God is good. Psalm 30 verse 5. Anytime you're down, remember that Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping may endure through the night, but joy cometh in the morning. That is the promise of God, and I believe absolutely. Amen. Pastor Dan. I just need you to guide me as a brother. Is there anything you did that attracts blessings 
that you think I am not doing. I mean, I need to experience the same miracle in my ministry too. My brother, Pastor Ezra, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Pastor Ezra, hold my hands. Pastor Ezra, Pastor Ezra, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? In everything, hold on to God. In your sleep, hold on to God. When you're sleeping, hold on to God. You're walking, hold on to God. Hold on to God. Where is your faith? For the Bible says, faith moveth mountains. At the shout of hallelujah, the walls of Jericho came down. Hold on to God. You were made perfectly in God's image. Hold on to God. Sometimes it becomes clear that even the so-called unbelievers are better than us. They open up to themselves on their secrets or sources. That is why you will always see unbelievers smiling to the banks. But a fellow pastor will not say anything to his colleague. I am sure it will be his pleasure if my ministry is shut down. A police detective by the name Jane. Could she be the same Jane? So tell me, what's your relationship with him? He's a friend who went to the same secondary school and university. Hmm. I see. So I guess you're also a designer as no. well. I'm a computer engineer. I work for a telecommunication company. Hmm. Okay. Knowing him for that long, I must say that you envied, or should I say, admire the power he wielded with the mystic bracelets. I don't understand what you mean by that. <laughs> you see, I understand. I know what it feels like to have a friend who has been loved and admired by everyone. I need to understand you. What exactly are you driving at? You wanted to be as powerful as he was. And so you went for the bracelet. But in the process, you killed him. Well, maybe not intentional, isn't it? Look. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not kill my friend. I'm so disappointed that this is what you could come up with. Why would she be the one handling the same case again? Expert. She must be an expert. A 
lot of things are joining in my head. A lot of things like what? Amanda, yeah. Why we wait for the cab? I have this feeling that you're dying for Chinedu. Can you deny it? <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, come on. I'm not a baby. I mean, don't allow my small stature to deceive you. I can readily read your mind, and I know you love him. So, what's with the pretense? <laughs> well, <clears throat> you are right. I love Chinedu. And I can do anything for him. But the problem is that he doesn't even look my way. Oh, come on. I mean, it's because of his newfound job as a seer. He's beginning to maintain this pious character that comes with it. But don't you worry. Hmm? I'm going to speak to him on your behalf. But, but please, please, don't even do that. Why? You will speak to him on my behalf for what? At least I'm trying to make things don't easier for you. Don't even try it, please, please. Don't. Wait. I beg you. Why don't you want me to speak to him? At least it will be easier for you to communicate with him when you see him. Oh. So you want him to think I'm throwing myself at him? Oh. Don't worry. Someday Chinedu is going to notice me. He will come to terms with the fact that I care so much about him. Really? Yes, and I would do anything for him, what none of his family members can do for him. I, Amanda, would do for him. That is deep. And what could that be? Something none of you can do for him. And I ask again, what could that be? Madam, it's none of your business. Really? Please, when it, is the cab getting here? Okay. Well. Jessica, you look lost. What are the things joining in your head? I mean, does it have anything to do with the bracelets or missing Amanda? Could it be that she has been on it since then? Been on what? You're confusing me. Amanda once told me that she could do what even a family member can do for Chinedu. Could it be that she has been on the case of the missing bracelets even after the police abandoned it? Why do you think so? I don't even know. But I think her disappearance, coming with the picture of the missing bracelets, can't just be a mere coincidence. Don't you think so? Jessica, sincerely, you are still confusing me. Manager, sir, what I have generated is not looking good. What exactly do you mean by that? I have managed to speak with Miss Spector Jane. Yes. And she explained to me that the missing gear was a core gear. Exactly what she said. So, what did you generate that doesn't look good? The call was made from number five, Johnson Close, GRA. Beautiful. Then put up a report that we can submit to the police. That is where the problem is. The address in question is Pastor Dan's Lodge. If the missing gear was a call gear as reported, the question is, what is she doing in a pastor's lodge? I mean, sir, who is Pastor Dan? What are you talking about? No, 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 what are you really saying? What are you saying? I have every reason, every single reason to, to, to be worried. Every single reason. Ah, I mean, just, just look at Mike and Christopher. Look, look at them. Christopher that, I, I, that turned born again through me. Through me. Look at his ministry. And they just look at my own. Just look, look, look at me here. Um, Pastor Dan, I believe everyone is called for a different purpose. Yeah, and my own calling is what? No, it's my own purpose to fail. My own purpose is to get followers and then lose. I lose more fo fo followers than I gain. I gain eight followers and I lose 13. Is, is, that, is that progress in the ministry of God? Is, 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 is that moving forward in, in God's ministry? Listen, don't get worked up over this. Why wouldn't I okay. get worked up? Why wouldn't I get worked up? Because I know I'm a good preacher. I am good. I've, I've, I've told God what is happening. What is happening? Something, God has to do something, something just has to be done because, because this is not progress. 
This is no progress. This is no progress. Look, 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 look at me. Look, look, look at look at where I stay. At my level. Eh? Pastor Dan. Is God Pasha? Pastor Dan. God is not Pasha. We have been through this a whole lot of times. <laughs> you just have to take it easy. Maybe your own time has not come yet. My brother, please, let's talk about something else. <laughs> please, um, what about um, that, uh, your friend, um, Chinedu? The one you said you, uh, um, has one bracelet oh, that oh, he used oh, to predict oh, oh. things for you that, you know, when things get lost, he finds, you know, the one that oh, uh, sees oh, something. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, he has a bracelet. Okay. He has a bracelet that he, his grandfather gave him. Okay. It's like kind of a mystery stuff that he worship. Okay. It. What are you asking about him? No, oh, nothing, nothing. It's just that uh, I need to just discuss about something to get me out of this my mood, you know, before I question God, before I blaspheme. Yes. That's, that's, that's just nothing more. Yeah. Please just tell me more about him. That, nothing. That's just, I just need to know. Just tell me more. Uh, yeah, so you say he sees. Yes, if, he, if you're looking for something, I remember back then. Yes. That meet him. Yes. He will look at the bracelet and he will tell yes, you. And the bracelet is very powerful. Yeah, very powerful. Though. Yeah. yeah. He can see tomorrow. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Pastor Dan, do you have a hand in this? It seems you remembered something. Can you tell me about it? The missing girl from what I just gathered saw bracelet. And I remember Pastor Dan having interest in the same bracelet. Hmm. Do you know this Pastor Dan close enough? Yes. We used to be neighbors. And he always complained about how poorly his ministry was doing. Could it be he's the one? Look, Andrew, I don't have answers to all that. Just compile all your findings and forward them to the police. They are at the front desk waiting. And I don't think they have all the time. Please. We need to see the owner of this house. He's not around at the moment. I am the housekeeper. When do you think he'll be coming back? I don't always have that information. He can come in any time. What is the name of the owner of this house? You don't know? Then why are you looking for him? His name is Pastor Dan. We only needed that confirmation from you. Is he the owner, yes or no? Yes. Pastor Dan of anointing for the end time ministry. I hope there is no problem, sir. Young lady, put a call across to him and let him know that his attention is urgently needed here. I have never done that before, sir. Listen, my dear. We have a warrant to break into this house. Do you understand? But we don't want to forcefully do that yet. So I'll advise that you put a call through to him now. What's your name? Mabel is my name. Listen, Mabel. We're not going to live here until we search this house. So you see that he comes here or we break into this facility. Call him now! servant and teach me thy statutes. That's what the Bible says. You of all people know that. At this hour, I have my private time with my Bible and my God. So why would you be calling me at this time? I have two police officers, a guy and a lady. They say they are looking for you. Two police officers and a man. 
Listen, people. I gave you strict guidelines, okay? Rules when I employed you. Am I wrong or right? I am sorry, sir. It is the police. I couldn't have stopped them. What should I do? You are daft for telling me what you just said right now. I'm sorry, sir. Now listen here, okay? They should leave that place right now, okay? Right now. Nobody searches my place, okay? That is my private lodge, and I'm telling you right now, they must leave. Sir, they have a warrant to search. Mabel! Listen, don't be a fool, okay? Mabel, don't be a fool. Nobody searches the private lodge of Pastor Dan. Johnson, when he's not around, okay? I'm not in town. That's it, I'm not in town. So tell them that. Those are my words. I'm not in town. Make that happen, please. Is he on his way already? I'm sorry, sir. He cannot be able to make it to this place now because he is out of town. Don't be silly. Are you and your boss covering up something? If that was the case, you could have told us that before now. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't always know his whereabouts. He just told me now. Do you know the implication of lying? from being a pastor, what else does your boss do? It's simply a pastor with a prophetic ministry. Can you swear on that oath that that's the only thing that you know that the pastor does? I do not know anything else. I only know him as a pastor. We understand that he doesn't live here. Yes, he comes here once in a while. When was the last time he was here? Specifically, I can't remember. But it's about seven to ten days ago. Did he come here alone? Ma, is there a problem? 
This is a very private question. And he will not take it lightly with me if he finds out that I am giving such information. I work for this man. And I know my terms of engagement. Listen. I want to assure you that you are safe. As long as this matter is concerned, anything that you say to us, we promise that your boss will never hear of it. Okay? Well, he, he came with a woman. Woman? Interesting. What did she look like? I'm sorry, Ma. I can't really see. Because it was late the day they came. I can't describe her. Was it also late when they left? No. I didn't see when she left. Hmm. Instead of wasting time, I can take you guys straight to his office. Yeah. His office, no. That's not where we need to be. This is where we need to be. Unless you, ha you have proof to show to me that the call didn't come from here. Of course he did. Okay, I can call him and indirectly bring him here. How about that? As much as you appreciate your offer of help, you can handle it. Like you said, the warrant permits us to break into the house. Why can't we just break into this house? I mean, Amanda might be somewhere in this house very much in danger. 
Listen, it is more honorable to have power and not use it than abuse the use of power. There is nothing like abuse of power here. The court has already given us the power. Let's break into this house, please. Um, do you mind? Can you let us do our job? Detective Damien, please, can I see you for a minute? I know what I'm saying, hey? Amanda might be in this house. Hey, she, she might be in danger. I know what I'm saying. Let's break in. Uh, let's allow them to do their job, like they said. Why are they here? Why are they treating me like a common criminal? Does it mean Pastor Dan is into crime or what? Um, you seem to know a lot about this Pastor Dan. He's a friend. We used to live in the same neighborhood. Um, so, so why is he involved in this? What do you know about him? Nothing. Rather than your friend calling me from his house. I'm not so comfortable about this. Everything will be fine. So long as we were able to speak with Amanda, everything will be fine. I'm positive about it. You should be. Detective Jane, I am calling from your house at number five, Johnson Close, GRA. Inspector Jane, um, it's not every day we get to talk to a female inspector, so um, uh, how may I help you? Well, we had your housekeeper put a call to you earlier. She did. Well, I'm not in town, so uh, what uh, actually seems to be the problem? Actually, Pastor Dan, we have a warrant to search your facility. Warrant? Yes. And our warrant empowers us to break into anywhere in the house. If we can prove that the owners of the facility <laughs> well, of course, uh, the police is your friend, definitely. But uh, the truth of the matter is, I do not believe you actually have the intention of uh, breaking or actually searching my property, you know, with me not being around. What are you saying? Give me some time. Besides, uh, you're talking to Pastor Dan Johnson, okay? So uh, give me some time, give me the privilege of finishing everything I'm doing right here. Let me round off and then immediately I'm done, I catch the first flight back to town and then report myself to you, then every other proceeding can take place. All right, um, please just do this for me. God bless you. See you soon. He Hello? Getting out of hand. I hate to feel this way about this self acclaimed man of God. Something tells me he was lying. I don't like the fact that we left that place. I mean, we should have broken into that house as the warrant gave us the right to do so. That house is under severe surveillance. You have nothing to be worried about. Um, excuse me. 
हेलो यू मस्ट बी चोक योर राइट Thank you very much for this information. I'll get back to you. Bye. You won't believe it. The pastor was actually in his office when I called him. He picked from his office. And that is very suggestive. Listen. It is not in my nature to rough handle a fellow woman. Don't push me into it. I don't know why you would want to rough handle me. I am simply a worker here. I have no access to the rooms. You sound like you know something and you're not willing to let it out. Your boss is in town and you lied to us. I do not have any access to that information, ma'am. He said he was out of town, and that is it. Is that not an incoming call? Pick your call. Hello, sir. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why don't you be making my calls? Sir. The officers took me with them. They just brought me back. Now listen, okay? You stand a chance of losing your stupid head by letting those scoundrels into my lodge. Okay? Now, you will do this. I hope you're wise enough to have this phone being picked privately. The detectives are here and you are on speaker. Shit! 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 What kind of stupid, stupid, stupid girl is this? Ah! about this room. He will kill me if I open it. Listen, Mabel. We do not need your permission to break this door. Do you understand? We just don't want to be brutal. Now, you have the keys to this door, so open the door right now. Hey. He warned me. He, in fact, he made me swear to a deadly oath to keep secret of anything I might come across in this lodge. What does that mean? Wait, does it mean your, 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 your boss is into a shitty kind of business? I thought you said he's a pastor and nothing else. Officers, why are you implicating me more and more? I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Shut up! Open this door. Open this door. Open this door. Open this door. My goodness! What? Bye, <laughs> Please. 
Inspector Jen and her team has made a serious headway. Have they found the missing girl or have they arrested the pastor? That pastor is a criminal. The remains of the missing lady was discovered in a room in his lodge. Professional and bound. What? You mean he killed her? He bound her remains and locked her up in the room? Yes. That was why I said that the man is a criminal. We need to deploy more resources to apprehend the man. He's very dangerous. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that! Take more men and resources! I want that man arrested as soon as possible! Yes, sir. Move! something to do with my brother's death. This is my brother's bracelet. What is the connection? Your brother knows Pastor Dan? I don't know. I don't know anything about their meeting, their friendship or whatsoever. He never talked about any pastor. Andrew, judging from what we know now, how do we accept that you have nothing to do with this? I mean, you know nothing about this. I have nothing to do with it. I want to ask you again, what is your relationship between yourself and the pastor? He's a family friend. We used to live in the same neighborhood. But believe me, I have nothing to do with this. Not in any way. Tell me, now that his phone is switched off, how can you be of help? If there's anything you want me to do, just tell me I will do it. I know Pastor Dan as a family friend. I never knew he's into this kind of a thing. So aside his office, his house that you've already taken us to, 
Where else do you think he could possibly be? Those are the only places I know he could possibly be. He does not even belong to Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. He has been saying funny things about the Pentecostal Fellowship. It never occurred to me that he's into this kind of a thing. Now I know better. I want you to realize you're in deep trouble. You have been sharing the house with the corpse of a missing person. Tell us what you know about this case against you. I have told you the truth, sir. I don't know anything apart from what I already said. I don't understand. You live in the same house with a possible criminal and a murderer who parades himself as a man of God, yet you say you don't know anything about him? I don't know anything about him. He placed a, a lot of restrictions around my job. I am only doing the job because I do not have another option. That man is a criminal. Possibly deceiving people with the powers he got from the bracelet of the man he murdered and cut off his hand. Tell me everything that you know. I might just decide to free you from this case. I don't know anything, ma. I won't lie about this. I have seen him threaten many of the women he brings to the lodge. But I don't know he can pull it through. Has he ever threatened you before? No. He has never threatened me, apart from the one you heard over the phone today. But he has been physically and psychologically abusive to me. So because you have no other option, you decided to remain in a toxic job where you can lose your life to your mother? I don't know he's capable of taking a life on you today. Tell me, where do you think we can find him? Maybe his house. I have not been there. But I know the address. We've been there, and there is no one there. I don't know anywhere else you can find him. I barely know anything about my boss. I put it to you that he chose you because he knows that you're a hardened criminal. You're a criminal who can be lying at the same time, give the impression of saying the truth. I am not lying, officers. I am not a criminal. Save your breath. Save your explanation for the lawyer. We'll make sure you spend the rest of your life in jail. There must be a way, detective. That man did not only had my nephew's bracelet, he also murdered Amanda. We're doing everything we can to get him. Trust me, we are. 
The truth is that no one knows about his whereabouts, not even the members of his so-called ministry. He has turned off his phones, and I'm sure he set his sim ablaze. With the structure he has surrounded himself in, we are indeed sure that that man is a criminal. From what I gathered, his ministry is not a Pentecostal church. It is one of these ministries that perform miracles. I mean, it's a shame to see the kind of dent these idiots bring to the body of Christ. Cases like this are not rushed. That man is well connected. And he might have people that will be giving him information about what is going on. You mean people that work with you? In cases like this, everyone is a suspect. I feel your pain as family and friends. But please, you need to leave us to handle this. We can handle it. I feel Tonya could be of help. Who is Tonya? This man has totally transformed Tonya's life. He's a man of God, I know. But trust me, he would do for me what he did for Tonya. <laughs> well, I have my reservations when it comes to all these pastors that preach the word of God and still have mistresses here and there. <clears throat> Why are you bothered? I mean, does it matter? Listen, God has given us the grace because he knows the body is weak. Well, I know he's a man of God, but I will roll with this man and see how it goes. Judging from what he did for Tonya, mm, this man will go berserk for me. I know. Because I will hate him so hard. Girlfriend, I will go so hard than Tonya, trust me. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you talk, I feel pity for the innocent man that will pick you up and make you the mother of his children. Perpetua, you are insulting me. No, I never insulted you. I'm only saying that I feel so disappointed seeing a beautiful girl like you jumping from one man to another all in the name hey, of hey, 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 that's enough. Just stop this nonsense. Did I commit any crime coming to discuss my intentions with you? Um, you know what, Amanda? Just go ahead and do whatever makes you happy, okay? Of course, it's your life. Leave it the way you want it. <clears throat> At least it's more like it. I mean, this is what I expected you to see. Okay. So. So, talking about this man of God, listen, I know No, him. no, please. I really don't want to have this conversation with you if you don't have any other thing to say. Okay. <sighs> Amanda told me Tonya was very close to the pastor. She started with him first, before Amanda joined. By that statement, should I conclude that you knew Amanda was going to pay the pastor a visit the night that she was presumably murdered? I knew she already decided to date the pastor. She told me she was going to outplay Tonya. But I never knew of that very visit that presumably proved to be her last. From what you know of Tonya, do you think she could be an accomplice? Uh, no. Mm -mm. I don't think so. The little I know about Tonya, she's not, she's not a bad person. Hmm. But sh you can take us to where Tonya is, right? I can give her a call, find out where she is. Good. That'll be good. As the works of the hands, 
Great is thy name. My brother, sit down, wow. sit down, sit down. Yes, wow. yes. Welcome to my new <laughs> office. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Wow. This is something. Yes, of course, of course. This is massive. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, my brother. You see, the Bible says that blessed are the servants who the master will find awake when he comes. Absolutely. Now look at this. <laughs> God has come. Absolutely. God has always been there, but now he has shown himself. Absolutely. Okay, watch the growth. Look at my new office. Our God <laughs> has arrived. Absolutely. Our God is here. Absolutely. Our God is here. Hey, hey. My brother. My brother. Yes. Wow. I'm so stunned. How were you able to achieve this breakthrough within this short period of time? My brother. The same thing I tell the people who come to me for counseling. I tell them, hold on to God. There's no secret, hold on to God. Once you hold on to God and become very, very straight with him, steadfast and stern and tell God what you want, he will answer you. Same thing I did, same rule I applied. Now look at me. New office, new church, new house. Watch my growth, my brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amazing. Amen. Amen. Amazing. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm happy for you. Yes. You know, you are the first living testimony that I know. And I'm really happy for you, my brother. I am happy. <laughs> I am happy. I am happy you are. All glory to God. All glory to God. Amen. You know, I came when I returned from the training in Canada, mm. but I was told you travel out of the country. Yes, yes, of course I did. I, I had to. Why? Because I had to obey my master, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Came to me while I was sleeping. And the Holy Spirit said, go to the Holy Land. I went to Jerusalem, proceeded to the mountain where God told me that I must fast for seven days and seven nights at that mountain. I didn't stay, I didn't go to a hotel. Wow. No, I had no baths for seven days. I was looking up to God and God answered. Look at the answer, my brother. He's indeed a faithful God. Of course, of course. <laughs> the only secret is to be steadfast in the Lord. Be steadfast Amen. in the Lord. That is it. God is a God of impossibilities. He makes the impossible possible. Hallelujah, my brother. Amen. The miracle must reach you. My brother, tap into this anointing. I tap, tap into my blessing. I tap into, tap my, into blessing. my blessing. I tap, I tap into your anointing. Into Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Indeed. Indeed, Pastor Dan. I should have known what you meant by the Lord being good to his people. You got hold of the bracelet. Who knows what you could do in order to be successful? I'm sorry, Andrew, but I am not one of those men who believe in the tales of miracles. <laughs> I don't get it in the way. Are you trying to tell me that you don't believe in miracles at all? Andrew, it's not all about believing or not. There is no such thing like miracles. You need to know that. See, these men of God, they move around, use a lot of evil powers to manipulate people. See, if there's anything like miracle, like you said, huh? I don't think these hospitals you're seeing around will be filled today. Look, I don't want to go into this argument with you. There is a miracle. The mere fact that we have fake miracles here and there does not mean that miracles do not happen. Huh? I'm not equally ready to go into this argument with you. Mm -mm, believe me. One thing I know for sure is one day you will get to see these things. You will see it for yourself. You see what these people do. This bunch of liars, deceivers, Abominable people out there deceiving people, damaging the psyche of people, all in the name of God. And you tell me there is. Yeah. No I beg. Way. I beg. If you believe in God, you should believe in miracle. Okay? <laughs> Pastor Dan, fools like you are the reason people dismiss the gospel as nothing.
how do I get this man to pay for his sin? Hey, hey, babe, you're getting me confused. What is this all about? I said Amanda is dead. What do you mean by Amanda is dead? He murdered her. He murdered us maybe because she saw my brother's bracelets with him. And then he murdered her. He murdered her? Who is he? Pastor Dan. The man you introduced as a pastor. Jesus. The one you said helped you get to where you are today. How could that be? They saw her body in one of his rooms in his private lodge at um, Johnson's Close, Jerry. Hey, Pep. Pep, you're joking, right? Tell me, you're joking. You are so unbelievable. You mean you haven't called to check up on your friend? <sighs> Lately, no. Amanda is dead. Amanda is dead. Amanda is dead. Jesus. Pastor Dan probably killed her. <laughs> this, this is so confusing. Like, why would he kill her? I, I presume he figured out that Amanda saw the bracelet. My late brother's bracelet. And, and then he murdered her just to cover up his crime. Jesus. I mean, come to think of it, how did he get hold of my brother's bracelet in the first place? How? Phone is switched off. Her phone has been turned off since the day he killed her. Jesus. I feel Jesus. He probably destroyed her SIM. Because her phone has been unable to send signal to the network providers since then. This is not happening. Pep. Pep this is not happening. Like. This man has been hiding. Nobody knows where he is. And that is why I called you to know if you can help us in any way. Tunyan, you need to help us track this man down. Please. This man is evil. He has destroyed and deceived, killed so many people. You need to help us, please. Pastor Dan that I know is well connected in this town. I mean, almost all the politicians and high class businessmen rely on his prophecy. So he can't just go into hiding just like that. Oh, that's exactly what he did. Went into hiding. Every means to try and track him down has been futile. He has disconnected himself from all digital device. Fortunately or Unfortunately, I may say, I was very close to this man. But too bad, I don't know what he was capable of doing. Too bad. <sighs> you see, so far you have really impressed me. Thank you. And something tells me that you would work with the police. Are you willing to help us get this man? Uh, I don't know how you want me to do this. Simple. As someone who is very close to him, I'm sure there's a means, there's a way you can, you know, use to reach out to him. Probably you have a number that no one else knows or has. 
if that doesn't work, you can reach him through social media. I'm very sure that he would actually love to hear from you. I don't know how much I've missed you. And I missed you too. I really did. Mm. Yet you almost stopped me from coming to see you. No, 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 my darling. I mean, it's just complicated. Yes, um, you know, I can always trust you, right? Yeah, sure, why not? I can always trust you. Yeah. Yes, that's my baby. Ah, um, what's happening? Like, why are you here? You should see the crowd at your office. Everyone is worried. There's a crowd at my office? Yes. And they're worried? Very worried. <laughs> well, 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 well uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised because, because I did, uh, you know, give them notification on this necessary leave of absence. Uh, you see, my dear, um, you know, too many consultations at the church, at the office, you know, I, I drifted away just a little bit, you know, uh, from my spirituality. Uh, yes, yes, and then, um, you know, you know, I just need to isolate myself to be here alone to get back in touch with my spirituality as it is. And of course, you being by my side doesn't affect that. Well, I kind of like it here. Mm, you do? I do. Like, I don't even mind spending a whole year with you. Oh, my darling. I always want to spend a whole load of hours with you. Sure. Of course. I mean, I mean, right now I just need to be stable, and then that's the reason, you know, I accepted you coming here. Oh, no. Yes, baby. Just yes, come, baby. Here. come here. Oh, baby. I missed you. Yeah. Detective Jane. Yeah. I am not trying to question your judgment. But I want you to understand the importance of this case. I mean, this could probably aid your promotion in the detective department. And you can vouch that I'm doing a good job with it. No, I can't. I mean, why would I possibly vouch for you when you have possibly allowed the only suspect, the only woman that could lead us to him to leave the station? Why would you do that? So you would rather I detain Tony, right? No. That would be counterproductive. The same pattern of investigation that has yielded this country nothing. Listen. We must learn how to psychologically gain the trust of witnesses to work with the police. Can you vouch that you know where the said Tonya is right now? I mean, she could possibly be with the same suspect as we speak. Good. That's exactly what I want. Listen. I have it all wired out. If she finds him and stays with him, problem solved. How? That man can possibly relocate from this country, I mean relocate to another country and permanently avoid justice. Detective Damien, this is my case. Allow me to handle it. Have a nice day. My baby. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I actually invited you here because um, you're my most trusted girl. Thank you. Yes, baby. <laughs> And again, why have you been on your phone? Oh, my bad. I sincerely apologize. Come on, baby. <coughs> Come here, baby. Password. You have it. Same good password.
baby. Mom, oh, baby. Don't, please. <laughs> so what was that for? Come on, darling. I'm just not too comfortable with phones around me, you know? Like, you can't even trust me. Baby, come on, I trust you. No, I just need you so much. I'm just so, 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 so tensed. You understand? That. Did you order anything? Yeah, sure. Yes, I did. When you went to ease yourself, I ordered for something. Let me get it. Let me go get the door myself. Oh. Yeah. Pressed again. You know, you know what? Why don't you get the other yourself? I'm pressed again. Yeah. See anyone? I mean, did anyone run into this place now? No, I, I, I didn't see anyone. No. Are you sure about it? Yes, of course. I, I've been working since I resumed work. I, I didn't see anyone. Are you sure? Yes. Hi. I do not know your name, but your countenance gave you out already. Look, I want you to understand that Pastor Dan is a hardened criminal. He's a suspect for murder charges. You cannot hide him here. For the last time, where is he? Well, sir, this place is not a den of thieves. As you can see, this is a laundry department in this hotel. So I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, you heard him right. We need to get Pastor Dan, the one who runs the popular TV program on TV. He's a suspect for murder. Do you understand? If you hear or see anything, make sure you raise an alarm. Do you understand? Definitely. Good. If I find out that you have anything to do with this idea. <laughs> like I told you, mister, I don't know where he is. Pastor Dan is now there for days now. But we are not aware that he's a killer. Well, we have not concluded that he killed, but we suspect him. We believe that he is still in this facility and we are not living without him. 
Officer, yeah, police is your friend. I will cooperate with you people to search everywhere in the hotel. All right. Thank you. So shall we? Sister, I, 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 I see this as a great opportunity for you to minister to me. Sister, I've been watching you. I have followed you in all social media and uh, uh, Sir, I've seen how you, you, you made so many people millionaire. Uh, make me a millionaire now. Uh, just look at what I'm doing. Okay, listen. I'll get you out of here. Smoothly. No traces. But you have to do something. Yeah, what is the condition? Just just say it. You make me a millionaire now. What is wrong with you? Know. Come on, relax, relax. Okay, I mean, I mean, you, you, you getting out of here is nothing. Okay? Yes, and I'm, I'm marvelled at your level of understanding. I am marvelled. You see, you see, what is happening now is are the works of the devil. Okay, Philippians three eighteen said for those who walk, of which I told you. And also telling you now, even whipping our enemies of the cross of Christ. Oh, These are enemies Jesus. of God. These are enemies of our works. You see, the government, they're trying to trample me down because, 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 because I, say, I speak the truth. I expose them. You understand me? And I do not want them to get me. There's nothing wrong with me going there. And, but if they get me now, they, they trample us down. Yes, so exactly. we must stand. Yes. We must stand to yes. be to, to, to be sinusoids of the word of God. Amen. You understand me? These are trying times. You understand me? These are trying times, but we must prevail because the devil lives under us. Amen, my brother? So, so listen to me now, okay? There is nothing that will happen. Happen because I am here for you. I am here because God has sent me to do this. Remember the trials, trials, trials of Christ. Exactly. I mean, trials of Job, exactly. trials of Solomon. Yes. This, is, this is time. But we will, we will stay above, above always, prophetically, you, in word, in the faith. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, yes. They are failed. They are failed. They, failed. they will fail. Thank God for bringing you here. Thank God. Ah, you will understand. Well with you. Say bye bye to this job. Bye bye. Say bye bye to this job. Bye bye. But brother, I want you to see yourself. I am out of here. 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 Power. It is done. It is done. But just do this for me, okay? There is a man of God I need you to call. He's a trusted man of God, a man of which I pray with all the time. Okay? I need to call him the trusted man of God and, 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 and I need him to be here. Alright? So I'll give you details for you to bring him here. There are lots of people pass, passing. I don't I don't understand. But, but come, come, let me let, let me tell you. You need to bring him out here, okay? Okay? Alright. So the man of God. Okay. Yes. Go and get the pen. You can get the pen. I'll, I'll write it down for you. Sir, from what I gather from Inspector Jane, the hotel management is cooperative with our team. And based on that, I don't feel it is necessary to conduct room to room search as it will scare away their customers. Did you hear yourself? I don't believe you said that. A mother suspect is hiding in a hotel and you're here telling me about the customers? Do you want him to kill another person? No, sir. Then move. Instruct Jen to do her job. She has the warrant. Yes, move! Sir. Yes, sir. My brother, the reason I brought you here is because it's time. It is time. This, this is your time now. Huh? Beyond trials and tribulations, this is your time. It is time to take you to where you are supposed to be. Because you're supposed to be somewhere. But, but, but right now it is time. You understand me? Let me tell you something you don't know. You see, every flamboyant pastor has a secret to power. Every flamboyant pastor. I tell you, every single one. All of us flamboyant pastors, we have our secrets. You understand? But we don't expose these secrets to everybody. You understand me? Yes. So, so right now, I feel it is time. It is time. As you get me out of here, it's the right time to, to, to teach you the secrets of, of power in the ministry. Yes. Uh, Pastor Dan. Yes. I mean, this whole thing is so scary. You mean you actually killed the guy to take possession 
of his inherited bracelet? Uncle, why are you talking like this? No, why do you talk like this? We're talking about power. 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 Power is the word. If you want power, you must do everything to get that power. Are you talking about killing? There are men of God. Have you forgotten your Bible, my brother? Men of God who killed. Men of God who loved God jealously. Samson. Abraham. Saul. David. They all killed for God. David would dance, dance, celebrate God even when a dead body is next to him. And God still loved him. God still blessed him. This is it. This is the ministry. Let me tell you what you don't know again. You see, most ministries have dead bodies around their foundation. Most ministries even have, have pigs buried around the church. And, and then these pigs are always, you know, having maggots. Maggots. And do you know what these maggots represent? Mm. Members of the church, congregation. I'm telling you, this is why I tell you that power is not for boys, it is for men. You're a boy in the ministry, now I want to make you a man in the ministry. Okay? You should not be a boy in the ministry no more. Alright? And you must promise me that you are ready. Once we get out of here, you get me out of here, then you must promise me once again you are ready for, for, for the secrets of the ministry. Um, Pastor Dan, yes. Um, if, if I may ask, yeah. uh, how did it start? Yeah. How were you able to get him interested in doing anything with a pastor? Uh, I don't know why you called me. From what I'm saying, you are a struggling man. And you don't have the money to pay for my services. So I don't know why you brought me here. Brother, why would you underestimate me like that? Why? Why? Why, why would you say anything like that? I mean, why do you think I'm not able to pay for your services? Um, nobody told me anything because I don't listen to people. It comes to me naturally. It's a gift from the gods. In other words, let me give you benefit of doubt. <laughs> uh, my brother, uh, well, I am a man of God, you know, you say the gift comes from the gods, <laughs> I'm a preacher of the word. Uh, what I'll tell you is that this is a big deal. Uh, the deal is not actually mine, but um, a friend of mine who lives in the UK, yes, yes, he's in charge of your services and uh, trust me, it will fetch you lots of millions. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, can you brief me on this? Yes, I can brief you. See, this is my friend, okay? Yes. Um, the truth of the matter is that he's actually relocating next year. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I was I, I was quite, you know, scared. I was skeptical, being that he was a mystical being too, you know. Uh, but then I, I had to act fast, and and and, and, I, and I prayed it it worked, and and to the glory of God it worked. You want? Yes. Pastor Dan. Yes. I can't believe this. You were planning to murder a man, and you pray it works? Power. Power. This is why I'm teaching you power. If you are hungry for power, you will do anything. If you are hungry to be a flamboyant great man of God, you should be ready to do anything I tell you. Power. How did it start? <sighs> yes, uh, Mr. Chinedu, uh, this is what you fidgeted. I, I, <laughs> I hope uh, you're not in a hurry to leave. There is something about you that is not straightforward. And I can help you out if you open up to me. I have this gift of the ancestors. I can help you with it. But you will tell me exactly what you need. I have to open up to you. <laughs> Mr. 
it's actually you do speak in parables, you know. Uh, but, but then, you know, the intriguing thing is that um, I, I, I hear you're, you're a seer. Um, so tell me, how, how does that work? Let us not go into that. Because you are a pastor. Of course. And you may not be happy with my kind of gift. Go ahead and tell me exactly why you invited me here. Okay, I'll, I'll go straight ahead uh, to it. Um, <clears throat> okay, you see, um, the thing is, I, I'm a straightforward person, okay? And uh, I just need you to assure me that um, once this person comes and uh, you strike your deal with him, uh, you, you, you give me my commission. Pastor. Your commission is never going to be a problem. <laughs> Judging from the kind of aura surrounding you, even if I have to seize what belongs to others, I cannot seize what belongs to you. Parables again. <laughs> even, even if you seize what belongs to others, you will not seize what belongs to me. <laughs> Mr. Chiridu, please, please. Um, uh, okay, uh, oh, let me get you something to drink while we wait for this person, eh? Okay. So please. No problem. Okay. All right. Just as if you knew, I also don't take alcohol. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> which brings me to my question. Um, this deal. If this, my friend, coming, you know, the clients I'm bringing to you, pays you seven million naira for this deal. Of which I must convince him to pay you that seven million naira. What would be the commission you give me? What what would be the amount you give me, um, Pastor? Yes. Um, let us see the client first. Okay. And let him start talking. Money is never going to be a problem between you and I. Okay. All right. I am not a greedy man. I wonder why he's not here. He should be here by now, you know? Yes. Uh. Should be here uh. by now. Uh. What's going on here? Don't hold on. Uh, uh, let me... Man of God. What's the problem? Uh. What? Man of God. What, what's going on? What, what's happening? Uh.
that's that, that that's that's what I did. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That but that's uh, the actual body that was seen years ago with the severed, you know, wrists. Now I am beginning to see why my ministry has not prospered. I can't see myself doing all of this. You know what, if, if you can't do all of this, there's, there's no problem, okay? I, just, just get me out of here, first of all. Get me out of here and, and, and then I'll, 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 I'll give you money. I'll give you money, you pump it to your ministry and, and you'll be fine, okay? But please, first of all, just get me out of here. Amanda, this is it. I, I, I told Amanda, Amanda, do not, do not touch anything. I told her. No, 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 no. She, 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 she just put me into all this mess. I told her not to do anything. Why did she throw? Why did she just... Please, please. What? No, 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 come back, come back. Eh? Come back, come back. I mean, more and more of them are arriving. I just want to know the plans. You, you, you know what? Um, um, I, 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 I'll, I'll hide here, you know, till, till, till night. Oh, no, now. No, now. Night will be too late. If you must leave, eh? you have to leave now. Now. So you're asking me to leave. I hope all is well. Uh -uh. Were you not the person that said yesterday that your fiance will be coming today? Yes, I should. Eh, so I decided to stay and back you up. Don't worry. Eh? Just go home. Eh? Do whatever you want to do with your fiance. Don't worry. I'll work to you Monday. Are you serious, Emeka? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Emeka, Emeka, uh, Emeka, since I know you, this is the best thing you have ever done for me. I truly appreciate it and uh, I will reward uh, you back. Uh, friends, uh, you, see, you are like your brother to me. Uh, Thank you very much, Emeka. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you those two. Don't worry, don't worry. Just see, go home and enjoy yourself. Don't Thank do you whatever much, you want Mika. to do with that. Thank you. All right? I'll, tell me the whole I'll, story. I'll make it. down. Can I see your trunk? Hey, officer. <clears throat> officer ignition, my friend. Turn off the ignition. Yeah. Let me see your trunk. Officer, I am a pastor. Mm? And trust me, I don't have anything in my truck. Young man, come down, stop wasting our time. Come down and open your trunk. <sighs> I just have my clothes in there. The more reason I want trunk. to see the clothes. Okay, come down and open your trunk. Open your trunk. Officer, I just have my clothes in there. Open this trunk! Open the trunk! I will stop. slap you. Just, just my clothes. That's my shoe. That's, that's my shoe. <laughs> Arrest this bastard! Come on! Come on! You're under arrest. Yeah. Come here! Straight up! You! Rest, please, 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 please. You have the right to remain silent or whatever you say or do, we use against the court. Gentlemen, let, let's discuss. Have okay. move! Please, please, we are, we are all gentlemen. We are all gentlemen. Please, let, let, let's discuss, okay? Come down! Secret upon secret, but one day must be obeyed. No matter how you hide it, one day it will be exposed. If evil you did in the dark, you thought nobody would rest. Remember, every secret has a spy with day. And when you beg for mercy, mercy will be far away. And you ask for pardon, but pardon is not available. Uh -huh. And you scream and you shout, somebody help me, cause I'm dying. But now we come to help, cause we're seeing we scared them away. Secret upon secret, but one day must be unveiled.
I told you I will come for you. Move it. He told me he was going to make me a villain. Will you shut up? Move. He'll make me a villain, yeah. Huh? That's what he said. Mm-hmm. 